So today's class we're looking at graph of quadratic function. And last class we looked at graph of linear function where we saw that what, y is the function of x given the function y equals uh, for our last class y equals three minus two x. Then from there I made us understand that our y axis is called the ordinate, our x axis is called what the abscissa. For this class, we're looking at how to plot graph for quadratic functions. Now, quadratic functions are functions involving the highest power of the variable to be 2. What do I mean? y equals x squared minus 1 this is a quadratic function. Why? Because the highest power of my what? Of my independent variable, x, is 2. Now, in that case, my y represents my independent variable, x represents the independent variable, in this case, like that. Now, that is a quadratic function. Now, in this case, for a straight line graph, we had our graph to be of the form this, or this, or this, or this, you know, and so on. For quadratic function, we are going to be having the graph to be in the form of a curve, you know, something like this, you know, and so on, in form of a curve, not a straight line. Now, how do we solve this question and then represent on our graph? Now, Draw the graph of the Cartesian graph. Okay, draw the Cartesian graph, I mean, of y equals what? x squared plus 2x minus 3 for the values of x ranging from what? Minus 4 to 2. Now, in today's class, we're given our range for the values of x. So it means if I want to plot my x table, I will have minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and two. Okay, now in which case, what happens then? I have to get my what? My y. Now, looking for my y, you can understand that I have x squared, I have two x, I have minus three. To make it easier, I have to also split my values of y. Okay, so let's start with this x squared. Then we'll move to two x. They will move towards minus 3, they will move towards y. Now, in which case, what do we now have? When we say x squared, it means what? We should raise on to 2. So that's minus 4 all squared, which gives us what? 16. Minus 3 all squared is what? Is 9. This is what? 4. This is 1. This is 0. This is 1. This is what? This is 4. Now, 2x means 2 times x, that's minus 8, minus 6. Minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, 4. Minus 3, in this case, is a constant, so just write it down on every box because it's a constant. Okay. Then my y means, means that what? I should add all this together. That means, so 16 minus 8 is 8, 8 minus 3, here is what? 5. 9 minus 6 is 3, minus 3 is what? 0. 4 minus 4 is 0, minus 3 is what? Minus 3. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Minus 3 is what? Minus 4. 0 plus 0 is what? 0. Minus 3 is what? Minus 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. Minus 3 is what? 0. 4 plus 4 is what? 8. 8 minus 3 is what? Is 5. Okay, so this is all we have. Now, this is our, our table, I mean. The rest is now to plot your graph. After plotting your graph, you now start finding what? All this here. How do I put my graph again? Just as I thought in our last class, what is the highest value of my y? 5, isn't it? Plus 5. The uh, lowest value of my y is what? Minus 4. Minus 4. The highest value of my x is what? 2. Lowest is what? Minus 4 in this case. Now, how do I plot my x graph? Since the x is 5, the lowest is 4, I can still have something like this. Remember, this is my origin, in which case, what then happens? I can have, I can use one unit, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, I can just stop this as minus five. I have this as what? One, two, three, four, five. Remember this is a rough sketch. On your graph, you'll be able to get it very well. Now, in this case also, I'm going to use one unit. And so on. In this case, I'm also going to use one unit. Three, four. Like that. Now, double start plotting. You take your x, you take your y, 
Yeah, plot. Minus 4 to 5, minus 4 to 5, that's this point. Minus 3 to 0, minus 3, this minus 3, my x to 0 will be on this line. Okay, my x is minus 3, which is this. 0 is going to be on this line. Okay, minus 2 to minus 3, minus 2 to minus 3 is this point. Minus 1 to minus 4. And as once minus 4 is around this place, 0 to minus 3. This is 0 to minus 3, which is this. 1 to 0. This is 1 to 0 will be still here. Or will still be there. Then we have 2 to what? 2 to 5. 2. This is 2 to 5, which is this point here. Let's now draw. So in this case, I can start somewhere from up there, and I come down here, and I come here, and I come here, move like this, move like this, then move like that. This is my graph, my rough sketch graph. Okay, now we we'll plot our graph. Our table first, our graph next, then let's now start solving questions. A question says that find y when x is what? 1.5 x is positive 1.5 around this point in between 1 and 2 find what? y let me change it up to my what? curve yeah this is like 3 on my own graph so it means when y when x is 1.5 my y is what? 3 in my case here when x is okay find x when y is what? 1 when y is 1 is this place Find what? Find x. So trace it down to your graph, where you have a graph. That's minus 3 for my own graph here because it touches this point here. Okay, so B, my answer is what? x equals what? Minus 3. Now, C says what? Find the minimum value of this. Now, this is all I do is not giving us any question. This represents my what? My y. This is my y. Now, it means that what? Besides, find the minimum value of this. Now, on your graph, where you have minimum and maximum values is mostly your polyastic graph and above, you know, like that. Now, your minimum value is talking about the lowest point of your graph. That's what you call. That's the minimum value. Maximum is talking about this point. Okay? So, don't forget, this is our minimum value. This is our what? Maximum. Okay? Now, in that case, find the minimum value of this graph, which is this. This is the minimum value here, trace it to your what? Your, your, what do you call it? Your graph here. Now, in which case, I have it as what? Minus 4. So it means my y is what? Minus 4. At minimum. So my minimum value is what? Minus 4. At y. Now, the value of x when y is least. What's the value of x when y is least? What is the least value of y? The least means the smallest. The least value of y here is what? Minus 4. Okay? And that's the minus 4 we just got. What's the value of x? Trace it up. If you trace it up very well, you should have 1, minus 1, I mean. So it means that what? The least value of x when y is... The value of y, of x, I mean, when y is least, is what? Minus 1. And that answers all this question.